Hey y'all, it is Hope at Crafty Hope, and welcome to my ICAD number 37. ICAD stands for Index Card a Day, and it is a challenge that was started about 11 years ago by Tammy Garcia of Daisy Yellow. She includes prompts with this challenge. Um, there are daily ones, as well as some weekly themes, and... I could go on and on about ICAD, but basically the idea is to take an index card, um, the size is your choice, and alter it. You can use the prompts or not use the prompts. Most days I use them on this one. I use the one from Daisy Yellow as well as one from um, Nina Fickett, who is giving was giving out the mixed media ICAD prompts. Now this challenge runs every June and July or has run for the past 11 years and um, it's over now but you are more than welcome to go take a look at the prompts and use them if you need them to inspire you. Now the two prompts for this day were Oasis and Toilet Roll or TP Roll. I can't remember exactly what it was now <laughs> but it was Toilet Paper Roll and I am starting this card with some collage and I am just got bits and pieces of paper and an uhu glue stick, and I am sticking things down, covering this card up, getting some neat texture in the background with different kinds of paper. There's um, some book pages, some things I've altered with stamps or ink. There's a handwritten letter, and I think there's the inside of a security envelope. So some really fun stuff going on there. And there's so much going on that I'm going to push it back just a little with some gesso. Now, the gesso I'm trying to get out there is, well, it's gone. So I got a little bit out, and I think, well, I got out enough that I'm going to try to spread it out using my little brayer. I'm trying to remember if I get a little more gesso or not, because that's not a whole lot there. Yeah. So I grabbed this other gesso, which is the Prima Marketing gesso the art basics from Finnebear and I'm just putting that down that was handy so that's why I'm using it no particular reason other than that all right so once this is all down I am going to pull out a, an empty toilet paper roll now first I'm going to dry it <laughs> now I have an empty toilet paper roll and a Sharpie. And what I've decided to do with this is to trace a couple of the circles of that toilet paper roll onto my card with the Sharpie and then do some neurographic doodling. I did a card before using this technique. I will put a link up in the upper right corner to that one if you're interested in it. But neurographic doodling, I will you'll see how it's done but you get some shapes on there and then you draw some like squiggly lines and once you get your lines down then where all of the each of the lines intersect you kind of round them by putting you know I don't know how to explain it you can kind of see it here where I am making sure that there aren't any right angles to it I'm just kind of putting like a little curved triangle and um, in each of those 90 degree angles. Now this is supposed to resemble neurons in your brain. So that's why it's called neurographic doodling. This was apparently uh, a, a neuroscientist or a psychologist came up with this forever ago. And with a little research, I'm sure you can find more information. I've only done some minimal and I can't even remember the doctor's name. I think he was Russian. But I really, really love this. To me, it is very much kind of a therapeutic, mindless doodling thing. I really love it a lot. So I've been doing it a lot since I discovered it. I think I discovered it on day six of the this um, ICAD because somebody else on Instagram had used this technique. And I was like, what is that neat doodling in the background? And so she told me about neurographic doodling. And, um, yeah, I can't get enough of it. So once you get all of your lines done, you can do whatever you want. You can call it done. In this case, I've decided to watercolor. So I've got out a big watercolor pack. And I am making some oases, I guess. An oasis in the middle of the card where these 
circles are, well, at least two, where two of my circles are, I'm putting in some greens and some blues to represent like the watery oasis that you would find out in a desert. So yeah, so I'm just using a couple different shades of blue and green inside my round portion of my doodles. And what's fun about the neurographic doodles is you could start with anything I think I read or heard somewhere in a little my little bit of research on it was that sometimes you drew in you drew out what was stressing you or what was on your mind or whatever and then you doodled kind of around it with these neurographic lines to help you work out the problem. So I think that's kind of cool. So, but in this case, I am creating just a an oasis. So once I got my greens and the blues there in the middle, I am using kind of a sandy, I guess it's probably a yellow ochre kind of color to go in and represent kind of a desert sand. And I'm going to do that around all of this card. Um, pretty much the rest of it, I believe. I think I've sped this up a little so that you don't have to. Well, I'm trying to say maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. You get to watch me watercolor. Um, I enjoy it. Like I said, this whole process is very meditative. And so I feel like almost even watching it can be meditative. So I'm going to let you watch me watercolor this for a minute. I'm going to play some music and then I'll come back and tell you what I'm doing next. So I am finishing up my watercoloring here and I decided that what I wanted to do to give a little bit more depth to this watercolored is to add some shadows kind of. So I'm going to just get a little bit of a darker brown. I think I don't like the one that I had picked up at first so I grabbed a different one and where a bunch of those lines intersect I'm just adding that brown to get a little bit of shadow. I really really love how this worked out and I've kind of done it on a couple other things because it's just I don't know it's neat I guess is the best way it's just neat I enjoy it there's something about the way watercolor flows that um, makes it even more enjoyable so I'm going to finish this up and then dry it real quick so I can move on to my next step which is kind of fun and exciting too so here I'm going to dry it and I am back and I have another Sharpie, but this time I have the fine tip marker and this, and what I'm going to do is draw within my oases or oasis bubbles. I don't know what you want to call them. Um, some different lines, some, some more additional doodles. And what I am adding to them is like watery shapes first and then once especially in the blue portions I'm putting in watery kind of oasis inspired shapes and then for the green portions I decided to put kind of foliage in so I'm going to do a bunch of leaf and flower shapes in there just to um, further make this feel like an oasis in the middle of a desert so again, I am going to let you watch me do this and put some more music back on.
am coming to the end of my doodling and I'm gonna go and pick out a phrase to put on here and y'all I don't remember what phrase I end up picking out I should have pulled that card out um while y'all were watching that but seriously I'm just putting oh it just says this is my happy place so that's what that says I and I think I'm going to be done with that I'll give you some pictures of this let me know if you have any questions thank you so much for coming by and watching and have a great day keep on crafting on thanks for watching bye